joining New Life, my name's Angela Livingston and I've been coming to New Life for two, two and a half years. For fun, I like to do a lot of different things. I'm a huge water bug, so I love to be anywhere near water and I swim laps a lot with my dad. I also love to karaoke, go on walks with my dog and friends and yeah, game nights, things like that. I took Spanish for 15 years, so I have traveled a lot in Central and South America, but if I could go anywhere right now, my top three would probably be India, the UAE, or Indonesia, just because I like to go places that will totally shock me. Um, that seems super different from here. So I grew up here in Kansas City. Um, my dad's from Kansas City. I grew up in the same house that he did, um, and I was raised Catholic, so I went to Catholic school all the way up until high school. That's when I switched to public school. Um, so we never missed mass on Sundays. My mom actually was gonna become a nun until she met my dad, um, but she would always read the Bible in bed every night and oftentimes I would join her. So I would say from a young age, I had a pretty good understanding of who God was, but I didn't have an understanding of the way that he was my personal savior. Um, my childhood was a pretty good one. I grew up around a lot of diversity and in a really welcoming household, we had people over all the time, kind of an open door sort of thing. In sixth grade, my parents got divorced and it wasn't tragic in the sense of me really wishing they were in love with each other. They're actually still friends until this day, but it was pretty hard in the sense of the separation caused a lot of turmoil in my family. Um, a couple of my family members really got into some scary places, particularly my mom's second marriage left us kind of torn apart as a family and left a lot of deep scars. As I was getting older, I started to kind of recognize that I was the peacekeeper of our family. Um, so although I was making peace on the outside, I had a lot of chaos and restlessness internally. Um, so I did a lot of activities. I tried as much as possible not to be home but I think internally I knew that I needed a resting place. Um, I was lucky enough that when things were really tough at home that I had some really good friends whose families kind of took me in as their own. And I saw God a lot in them, um, but later I would really see God himself as my resting place. And as I continued in my relationship with Jesus, I found all these different communities that were following and seeking after Jesus. And it was honestly inspiring to see the different ways that people love him and love others. Um, so something that inspires me now is to welcome people into the family that we have here in the church and yeah, give them that embrace that I know Jesus gave me. Jesus means so much to me. Um, not only is he my refuge and my safe place, but he's really my constant. Through different seasons of life, there have been really deeply painful times. Um, but one thing that's always been really constant and has kept me fighting always for my faith is the fact that Jesus' promises are true. He is always working to make things good. Whether we see it or not, he's got a plan and he's always there and he never fails. So he's my safe place and he's my Jesus.